after the after my the really the biggest perspective of my, my work in my life in the Museum of the Art in Loma, I felt that um, um, really change. There's something changing me, and I had this enormous need for simplicity, need for nature, need to go to the to um, to the countryside, hunt the tree, smell the flower, hold the goat, and really to ritualize everyday life. And uh, when the, we planned the show here in Brazil, I was thinking the really good idea would be the show have two parts, some historical works and then the works who actually deal with this new me, the new fast in my life, and this is back to simplicity. So that you see the time in my performance changed in the beginning. My performance it was one hour, two hours. I had also the performance uh, with Ulay, which was uh, 17 hours, but never really um, took as much time as this last performance of three months. The only the one performance of the three months, and this was a walk in the Chinese wall, was also three months performance, but the public was not there, so it was different. But in the <clears throat> moment, the public was there, so it was much more difficult to deal every day with 8,000, 10, 20,000 people passing the museum. So then the, the concentration has to be enormous, and this really changed something mm -hmm. in, my, in my mind. So when uh, I came out of this performance, I understood that the long duration of work is the most important form of work in performance, mm -hmm. because become life, become a kind of existence, and uh, really have a large effect on me, changing myself, but also audience mm. who are looking at me. Because normally audience always been seen as a group, never as individuals. But I create individual situations, one to one. Yes. So that people have enormous need to experience something from the artist. And before it was always, you know, the voyeur, the looking art with the distance. But yes. here was a connection. to express mm -hmm. myself. Sometimes I use photography, sometimes it's performance, sometimes it's object, mm -hmm. sometimes it's crystals, sometimes it's video mm -hmm. or film. So there are different tools I use. So when I sit in MoMA, I really saw, had a vision of this kind of work I wanted to do. Yeah. So it was, and this was the, then I went after the MoMA, I went south of Italy and made this works, you know. So the one of the first vision I had that I always believed that I am black sheep in society. Mm -hmm. I was always different than everybody else. 
So the idea of black sheep was really important to me. Holding black sheep, being in the middle of the white sheep, holding black sheep. Mm -hmm. You know, that, that kind of thing, that there was something there. But then when I done work with black sheep, I see white sheep is also important to me. <laughs> white sheep. Then, was the, then was this idea of, of the strengths, you know, the, 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 the what do you call them? goat with the male goat with the with the horns holding the male goat with the horn you know really kind of the having a power of situation of controlling mm -hmm. the situation mm -hmm. was another situation so i use photography to express this and their public was not there because the idea for me was to go to nature alone experience mm -hmm. and give this um, um, experience through the photography to the public. Mm -hmm. So this was the idea. And I'm not going to do another performance for at least two years mm -hmm. because I'm not doing performances in the galleries anymore. They have mm -hmm. to be museums, they have to be large institutions and take so much preparation. Because so many times people say, oh, you have the opening, can you do performance? But this is entertainment, that's not performance. My performance takes everything out of me. I still, I might, my now, right now, I, I have my, you know, you call the, uh, my condition, my immune system is on zero. I have to tell you, because really, I have no energy left in my body. I give everything to this last piece. So it will take some time to, to create new energy and to get. Um, it was really the idea to, to use photography as a media to give this notion of simplicity to the audience. And also very important for me in this catalog yeah, was the man manifesto. You know this manifesto because this manifesto was really what I believe the, of the moral conduct of an artist should mm -hmm. be in life, mm -hmm. and uh, I could not write this before. But right now, from all my experiences after 40 years of work. Also my new theater piece, which I'm doing with Bob Wilson, I would like to, but for this year to be invited, you know, I can't just bring the piece, mm -hmm. it's, it's a big infrastructure a organization, <laughs> and if this had happened, I will be so happy, because I really love the Brazilian public, because Brazilian public love my work, and I love, not just because of that, because I really love Brazil, I love the, the old culture, you know, and so I love that to have a show here, so I have, we hope, hopefully there will be a possibility for me to come. The performance is like a phoenix bird, you know, uh, die and then get born from his own ashes again, and again die and become born from ashes again, and so on. Because you see, it's such a huge evolution of performance. In the 70s, performance came out to conceptual art. Then, end of 70s, the performance stopped existing because there was a huge pressure of the art market, of the dealers, it was nothing to sell. And the, in the 80s, everybody wants to sell something. So the mo most majority of performance artists stop performing and start producing paintings, installations, objects. So the performance actually in the 80s didn't exist at all. The turn in later, late, and the beginning of 90s start happening in the nightclubs cl culture, like uh, Libauri, like, like London, Berlin, New York. Then from the night culture, uh, nightclub culture, uh, young artists start making video who have the performance elements. Then the performance went to the dance, into MTV, into the into the to the theater. Lots of elements of performance, you know, become recycled into the fashion, and then the start being very uh, young artists being busy with music. So even if they're painters, they start having their own pop groups and they, you know, singing and, and they're doing the all kinds of performative things in in a, in a field of music, and then you know, performance disappeared again because the art market came up. And then you have the great example of the Damien Hirst, you know, Diamond Head, which was ironic concept, what art should not be. Art become commodity. And then you can, you know, buy things for millions, which is this completely lose the meaning of art itself. And now with the economical crisis, performance come back again. And it's wonderful. The more economical, economical crisis, the better for performance is. Because that performance is not to sell, you know. Performance is it's immaterial form of art. And it's, it's quite difficult, uh, you know, now for the rest of the artists because it's difficult to sell, but now performance is everywhere.
years. I, I teach 22 years and I stopped teaching now because I stopped teaching because I don't want to belong to any institutions. I want to open my own because I'm fed up with the restrictions of the, of the different institutions. And you are planning to so open Yeah, the opening right? my institute in 2012, which is going to be Marina Bramovic Institute for Pres Preservation Performance Art, called MAI, and it's going to address only performing arts with a long duration, six hours on, nothing less than six hours. Mm -hmm. I don't care about one hour <laughs> just one hour, because long duration is the biggest problem possibility of, of changing, which I wanted to, you know, address young artists to create work, to teach them. I also wanted to create school for the public, how the public can look at the performance art, how the public can look something that not is happening for 10 hours. What is your attitude? What is your state of mind? And so on. So it's a lot of things to do, you know, and, and I really want to leave legacy. And because my whole life I put into performance. And to me it's very important how to transfer, transfer a performance from the no man land, from non, you know, non kind of um, the, 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 the mainstream art into the mainstream art. That's what I am trying to do, which I've done with this museum. The yeah. performance never been to the Spectre Museum before. Mm -hmm. I also opened this whole idea of re-performing, that if performance is finished, the artist is dead, or you can't perform anymore because of the physical problems, you still can actually work and live without you. They can be re-performed, even if it's been changed, even if the other artist brings his own charisma, his own individuality, his own different concept. It's better, you know, to have the living life form, which is performance, than just be dead photographs in the book. So that's, you know, I think that I feel, because I'm one of the few artists from the generation, maybe, maybe one or two left, yeah. from my generation who still perform. So I felt the duty that I have to really uh, uh, the preserve legacy of performance art. Never die. Yeah. It comes into the ground and become new tree. It's so bad so tree. It's amazing. They never die. No. And you see, it's alive and alive there. The only see you can see sometimes butterflies or birds or insects passing. The wind, you know, is one hour. I'm sleeping. <laughs>